مرحبہ to this new and amazing silsila which you are watching subhanallah um, this may be perhaps something new for the viewers and listeners of madani channel but yes alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin by the grace of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the divine blessings of our beloved nabi sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam you are watching interpretation of dreams subhanallah it was on your request alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin now people can basically relate their dreams and um, they can basically know the basics of dreams the meanings and interpretation of dreams inshallah before i give you a little more insight into this it is the norm and the custom that alhamdulillah we first after reciting the rudi pak upon the holy rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam we always listen to the virtues and blessings of reciting the rudi pak upon the cause of creation the cream of creation our beloved nabi muhammad rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam therefore it has been mentioned in a beautiful hadith inna allah wakkala bi qabri malakan fala yusalli alayya ahadun ila yawm al qiyamati illa ablaghani bi ismihi wa ismi abihi a'tahu al asma' al khala'iq hadha fulan ibn fulan qad salla alayk subhanallah aw bilabat nabi sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam has mentioned that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has appointed an angel at my grave subhanallah at the blessed qabr of rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam and almighty allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given this angel the power of listening to all the voices of the entire creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala therefore until the day of judgment those that will send the rood and salat upon the holy rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam the angel will convey the salat and the rood of that person by saying ya rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam hadha fulan ibn fulan qad salla alayk so and so person who is the son of so and so person have sent salat upon you subhanallah subhanallah dear viewers and listeners of madani channel this should encourage us to continue reciting in fact increase our recitation of salat and durood upon the holy rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam ka'be ke badr duja tum pe karodo durood tayba ke shams ud duha tum pe karodo durood sallu ala al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam salatan wa salaman alayka ya sayyidi ya rasulullah wa sallam alayka ya sayyidi ya nabiy allah alhamdulillah dear viewers and listeners of madani channel Uh, as i mentioned to you regarding the launch of this amazing and new silsila meaning is the interpretation of dreams alhamdulillah yes dreams is that thing which actually confuses a person at times a person is terrified by the nightmares he has at times he is overwhelmed with the wonderful dreams that he sees and many at times we may ponder over what dream have i had at many at times we forget the dreams allahu akbar So alhamdulillah now there is a beautiful platform for you to basically link into you can watch this silsila alhamdulillah rabbil alamin with us we have our honorable esteemed personality subhanallah who needs no introduction and he is none other than hazrat molana asad sahab qibla who is in babul madina mashallah and then he will be giving us the interpretation of the beautiful beautiful dreams we say ahlan wa sahlan welcome to our beloved asad bhai qibla May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, grant us the ability and tawfiq to always be on istiqamah on this beautiful deen and may we 
uh, increase the love of our beloved Nabi sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa in, in our hearts. However, inshallah, Azza wa Jal, um, Asad Bhai Qibla is also watching, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum as wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Mashallah. Uh, welcome to you, Tabriz Bhai, as well, and all the viewers of Madari channel. Uh, mashallah, mashallah. In many places, maybe they are watching Madari channel. Khaira. Ameen. Barakallah, Jazakallah, Asad Bhai, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Yes, Asad Bhai, it is indeed a uh, great feeling tonight as we are basically uh, doing the silsila from South Africa, Mashallah. And what makes the silsila even more special is because, Alhamdulillah, we have you and you will do the interpretation of the dreams. And many people are excited for this was the wish of many Islamic brothers in our country and I'm sure many parts of the English world where they wanted the silsila to be in English so that they could relate their dreams to and get authentic answers in the light of quran e and hadith e Mubaraka. MashaAllah. So, Alhamdulillah Asad Bhai, actually, uh, I think uh, it will be quite nice, inshallah, for us to begin with, uh, with a little brief introduction, I would say, rather some important questions which may be uh, lingering in the minds of many people. Number one is this, Asad Bhai, that if you could Explain to the viewers and listeners of Madani channel, what is the actual concept of dream in Islam? What is the actual concept of this from an Islamic point of view? Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen wa salatu wa salamu ala sajjid al-anbiya wal mursaleen amma ba'd Yes, uh, there is too much to talk about the dreams in Quran and Hadith and in the quotes and aqwal of Sahaba Karam Ali Muridwan. Uh, too many things are mentioned about the dreams. First of all, I would like to explain the importance and the haqiqat of dream. Uh, that uh, in the Holy Quran, Allah wa Taala explained about many dreams. Famous dreams like the dream of Sayyiduna Ibrahim, Khalilullah, ala nabijina wa alayhi salatu wa salam. And also some dreams of Sayyiduna Yusuf, ala nabijina wa alayhi salatu wa salam are mentioned in the Holy Quran. So from this we can see the importance. If there wasn't any importance, so why uh, their Gee. dreams are mentioned in the Holy Quran. So uh, this is in the Holy Quran and in the Holy Hadith. Uh, I would like to share uh, some summary of Hadith Pak. Uh, it is mentioned in the Sirah books of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam that the Holy Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam used to sit after Salatul Fajr when they finish Salatul Fajr. So he used to ask sometimes his companions so, if someone has seen any dream in the night so uh, he could ask. So some of Sahaba Karam Ali Muridwan asked about their dreams and Rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam gave them the interpretations and also uh, it is mentioned in the Sira of Sayyiduna Siddiq Akbar ta'ala anhu and also we can see the uh, personality, the dignity uh, and the love of Siddiq Akbar ta'ala anhu to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Uh, the summary of hadith e Pak is Sarkar sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam said that Allah wa ta'ala has ordered me to teach the ilm, the knowledge of interpretations of dreams to Siddiqui Akbar ta'ala anhu. So that's why it is said that in this ummah, the biggest alim, the biggest personality who knows the best knowledge about the interpretations of dream, that is Sayyiduna Siddiqui Akbar ta'ala anhu. So uh, likewise, in the aqwal of uh, Sahaba Karam Ali Muridwan, we can find Mashallah. many explanations about dream. Sometimes, uh, basically there are three or four different types of dreams. So, sometimes dreams are the reflection of our thoughts. Sometimes we see whatever we do in the day. Sometimes we watch that uh, something is done in our childhood or uh, long before. So, sometimes these are the reflections of our thoughts or our deeds or our activities. And also, uh, sometimes this is the good news from Allah tabarak wa ta'ala because now the silsila of wahi is disconnected. Nobody can claim that Allah tabarak wa ta'ala uh, uh, reveals the wahi because it's not possible now because wahi is special for the prophets uh, alayhi salatu wa salam. 
but when the wahi is disconnected so what is the way to have a good news so that is called in riwayat mubashsharat so sahaba karam ali muridwan asked about the mubashsharat mal mubashsharat ya rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam so rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam uh, said replied that mubasharat means those good deeds good news which allah tabarak wa ta'ala gives a muslim a mu'min in the uh, shape of the good dreams good interpretations are uh, shown for them so likewise uh, there are too many things about dream Mashallah. but uh, keep in mind there is uh, two uh, there are two kinds of knowledges one is ilmul yaqeen and one is zanni that is not confirmed it can be happen but that is not confirmed so the knowledge the ilm the answer what we get from the interpretations of dream that is not ilmul yaqeen but many times allah tbarak wa taala shows and gives news and many things which will be happen in the uh, future so this is a small uh, explanation about the uh, dream in the light of quran and hadith mashallah subhanallah asad bhai we really appreciate that very beautifully explained very precise i should say mashallah asad bhai uh, also one question um, which is also asked by uh, many people that are dreams actually real is there any reality in dreams please uh, if you could give some answers for this as well uh, basically some dreams they have no reality but there are many dreams they have the reality uh, as i mentioned uh, before that sometimes allah tbarak wa taala gives a ni'ma a good Masha. news anything which is going to happen with a moment uh, uh, in the dream so that is one kind and the second thing is some dreams don't have the interpretations so that is a kind of dreams so let me tell you uh, many dreams we see in the uh, in the night or day which is related with our daily activity for example a person uh he works for something okay and the same thing he watches in the dream that he is doing the same thing what is his uh, uh, what is his uh, daily work daily routine work so that is called adghasu ahlam so that is a, a complete uh, kind of dream so th they don't have the dream so some dreams they are real but some dreams they are not Uh, real they, they don't have any interpretation so we can divide in two and sometimes there are some dreams which are due to the uh, interference of shaitan uh, like uh, why we are waking so daytime uh, we can receive some waswasas okay so uh, uh, shaitan makes some waswasa in our hearts so likewise when a person is sleeping so due to the uh, interruption of shaitan a person can watch the, some uh, very bad dreams so that is due to shaitan so we can uh, explain in two three kinds uh, the uh, different dreams alhamdulillah alhamdulillah mashallah uh, okay uh, i have received some news that we already have uh, some callers there are some other question that we would like to ask us by but uh, since the callers have already called in inshallah i would request the technician to please inshallah uh, play the call jazakumullah my name is bashir suleiman i am a south african i had a dream a while back regarding i'm walking through a qabristan and the sand lifted up and made salam to me can you please give me an interpretation of the dream jazakallah assalamu alaikum wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh ji asad bhai qibla uh yes uh, this this is uh, the dream which don't have any interpretation so a person should not be worry about uh, such kind of dreams Uh, apparently it looks like uh, maybe there is something wrong with the person who saw the dream so but uh, he should not be worry uh, and don't take tension and take it easy Ji. and make dua in the holy court of allah tbarak wa taala that uh, may allah make it easy for him and there should not be any bad news for him so there is no any interpretation this is uh, the such kind of dreams uh, which don't have uh, any interpretation as i mentioned earlier Masha Allah, Alhamdulillah. I hope that has answered the question of our brother. 
please uh, give us the next call. Mashallah, Subhanallah, very, very uh, beautiful uh, English uh, program on Madhuri Channel. We are very, very happy and excited to see Madhuri Channel in English in our country. Uh, one Islamic sister had a dream and she mentioned that the ocean was chasing her, but the ocean didn't catch her. She managed to get away. Can you please advise what is the meaning of this dream? May Allah Paksha is mercy and grace upon the, uh, Dawr Islami and Madhuri Channel and keep it from growing from strength to strength. Jazakallah. Ameen, Allahumma Ameen, MashaAllah. So the Islamic brother has said that the ocean has been chasing and uh, did not catch his spouse. So what is the actual meaning of this, Asad Bhai? Uh, yes, uh, if I'm not mistaken, so he was uh, our Junaid Bhai from Durban. So Jazakallah uh, for liking the Silsila. And uh, the dream <laughs> you <laughs> have mentioned uh, uh, about uh, some Islamic okay. sister, Basically, watching ocean, the interpretation of uh, ocean is king. But uh, in this time in the world, there is no system of kings remaining behind. So the systems are changed. So, so we, uh, so we uh, explain about a big personality. So the person who saw ocean in his dream, so he will have to face a very powerful personality any person who is the leader of community or is a, a authority among the people. So, uh, uh, what uh, uh, the explanation, uh, what our Islamic brother uh, told us, so uh, she has to face any personality which is the authority, the leader of the community or big personality, but there won't be any problem for her. So, in the end, as per result, this dream is also nice and good. There should be uh, a good news for her and there should not be any problem for her. So, as per the Tabir interpretation, that dream is also nice. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Asad Bhai, uh, when the dream turns out to be a good dream, it is some sort of comfort and tranquility. A person is not scared. But what about, um, this question had also been asked by many people, that uh, if somebody had a bad dream and he has got up from his sleep due to the weird or the nightmare that he has had, so what should he then do if his sleep breaks during the nightmare that he has had? Uh, is there anything that, any advice that you could give perhaps, Asad Bhai? Ye yes, uh, of course. And it happens uh, with some people very often and they are scared and uh, they feel fear. And especially when a person is sleeping middle of the night or end of the night and there is no person with him, he is alone and he saw such kind of dream. So sometimes he became restless and there is some problem for him. So, but for a Muslim, there is a good news that he should not be worried about the bad dreams. If someone faces such kind of situation, what the Brisbane you have told, Gee. so he should first read Ta'avud. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem because such kind of dreams are from Shaitan. So first he should recite A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem and then Allah. he should uh, pretend on his left side uh, to spit. Actually he is not spitting but he he is showing that like a gesture, thu thu we call. So uh, three times he do this thing on his left side then he should change his side. If he was sleeping on left side, so now he should change side to a right side. And then he should sleep again. So inshallah, he will be saved. There won't be any problem for him. And also, uh, many people, they ask that uh, uh, we have a problem that continuously we are facing the troubles and we are watching such kind of dream that we became uh, restless and we feel the fear. So what they can do, so uh, let me tell you one, two things. First thing is, before you are going to sleep, you should make wuzu while sleeping. So you should have in the condition of wuzu. Make wuzu before you are going to sleep. Recite ta'avuz, tasmiya, lahaul sharif, ayatul kursi, surah ikhlas, something the recitation of the holy Quran or some azkar. So the last discussion, what we do before going to sleep, that should be nice discussion. And also we should not watch... Uh, any bad thing like uh, nowadays people uh, they are habitual to see the 
news channel so whatever we watch it affects our thoughts and as i mentioned earlier that sometimes our dreams are the reflections of our thoughts so when you will see the good thing so inshallah there won't be any a bad dream for you another wazifa uh, i would like to share with our uh, viewers uh, the questioner or uh, the person who is facing such kind Gee. of problem so he should recite a wazifa that is for the all viewers of madari channel that is ya mutakabbiru this is the name of allah tabarak wa taala mutakabbir so the wazifa is ya mutakabbiru he should recite 21 times and he should recite before and after this wazifa three times durood upon holy prophet sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wa sallam and then he should not talk anything and then go to sleep so if someone is facing continuously a bad dream so he should recite this wazifa inshallah zawajal his problem will be cured so and uh, he will be uh, he will get rid of uh, that problem so this is a general wazifa it is mentioned in madani pansura printed by maktabatul madina so you can uh, go there and you can see uh drown a khab they can in the in the index in urdu drown a khab they came to kya padem and english uh, i think it is also tra translated in english madani pansura so you can have the english pandani pansura and urdu madani pansura and the page number in urdu book is 228 228 so inshallah well uh, when you will recite this wazifa so you will uh, get rid of such kind of bad dreams mashallah mashallah jazakallah sir bhai for the beautiful Amen. explanation and i make dua that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us the ability and tawfiq to make amal and practice upon those madani pearls uh, especially regarding making wuzu reading wazaif invocations and doing good actions before going to bed subhanallah asad bhai uh, alhamdulillah we have more callers and uh, people do want to know what is the meaning of their dreams but just before we take one more call inshallah uh, one person wants to know actually there's an email that came that what happens to those that fabricate dreams somebody wants to know actually what happens to those people that fabricate dreams they haven't seen the actual dream but they are relating something which they have not seen uh, yes it is very bad and uh, there are many punishments which are mentioned in the uh, holy ahadith rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam uh, explained the punishments the one who tells lie about his dreams and uh, uh, he should repent and also another aspect which is very uh, dangerous for such kind of people because sometimes uh, we think that uh, i'm only just making mockery just to have a fun just to talk i'm asking some dreams and actually it is not happened so sometimes what happened uh, if actually the person has not seen any dream but he is talking about his uh, uh, lie and uh, dream so maybe in fact he will be facing any hardship and trouble as it is mentioned in the holy quran uh, when sayyiduna yusuf ala nabijina wa alayhi salatu wasalam he was in the prison so two people came to him and they asked their dreams the interpretation of uh, one dream was good and the second one was very bad the, the interpretation was he will be killed by the king of that time so when sayyiduna yusuf ala nabijina wa alayhi salatu wasalam explained and he told about the interpretation so then both of them they said no 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 we were making only mockery and uh, we were not telling the truth so it was just to ask the dream then it is mentioned that the both things were happened okay. with the both people so uh, we should be careful we should not tell a lie lying is also a very bad thing very bad habit and it is sin and also sometimes you will have to face many bad things only due to telling any uh, wrong dream so we should uh, be careful and apparently sometimes we can see okay i am talking about the dream uh, there would be a good interpretation but we don't know there are many dreams inshallah in future when this insla will be carried on so we will explain and tell about the uh, dreams apparently the interpretation is good but actually the interpretation of that dream is not good and uh, the opposite can be happen apparently some dreams are not good but their interpretations are good so for a common person it is very hard to explain 
or uh, come to know that uh, what kind of dreams are good and what are bad because there are signs it is a complete knowledge so we should not tell a lie uh, about the dreams especially it can be harmful for the person who is telling a lie allahu akbar dear viewers and listeners of madani channel uh, that was a very good explanation as to one should never fabricate his dreams inshallah we should basically try and develop the habit of never speaking lies no matter what the circumstances may be um, alhamdulillah once again i have been informed that we do have uh, callers that have called in so please i request our technician islami brother to please give us the next caller my name is mohammed i'm from south africa i would like to know the interpretation of the dream that i was visiting the darbar of ghosi pak sheikh abdul qadir jilani radiyallahu ta'ala anhu and then while in the darbar the dream broke uh, please can you advise uh, what is the significance of this dream jazakallahu khaira mashallah mashallah who does not want to be in the darbar of sayyidina ghosi azam abdul qadir jilani quddis sirruhu nurani mashallah hadrat he has seen himself in the barga of sayyidina ghosi azam radiyallahu anhu but then his dream has broken what is the interpretation of this dream is the good thing is <coughs> it was not broken on the way <coughs> he said that uh, when he reached in the darbar so then his dream was broken so uh, the dream was broken at a good time so mashallah uh, having the sight Allah of awliya yes, karam yes, and yes, yes. having the sight of okay. any mazar of any wali so the interpretation is very good and especially the person who watches any big personality and he sent any uh, the wali of allah tbarak wa taala so he will have the special nazar nazar e karam of that wali special blessings of that wali and to have the sight of rauza mubarakah of ghosi pak rahmatullahi taala there are two three basic interpretations that person will have Allah. honor among the community he would be the leader or someone honorable among the community the second thing allah tbarak wa taala will give him power and tawfiq to do good deeds he will be pious taqwa he will have the taqwa and also allah tbarak wa taala will bless him with his special blessings so mashallah it's a very good dream so our uh, the, he mentioned the name muhammad i cannot say our muhammad bhai and i suggest you uh, we should name our children <coughs> muhammad and ahmad but for calling it's not according to the uh, respect that i call oh muhammad come here muhammad bhai come here it, it doesn't sound good so that's why ulama e karam explain in the books to have the baraka of the name of muhammad and ahmad we should name our children ahmad and muhammad there are many fazail of uh, 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 these names but for calling there should be another name and that should be the name of anbiya sahaba awliya any pious person so uh, uh, the caller uh, he should Masha. thankful to allah tbarak wa taala because good dream is the ni'ma of allah tbarak wa taala so for each and every ni'ma we should make shukr to allah tbarak wa taala like like it is mentioned fa kuruni azkurukum washkuru li wa la takfurun so washkuru li this is the order to make shukr to allah tbarak wa taala so because good dreams are ni'ma the gift the bounty of allah tbarak wa taala so that person should be thankful to allah tbarak wa taala mashallah that was a very very beautiful interpretation regarding the mazarat of awliya e kamilin mashallah g please give us the next caller i am from durban south africa sufi nagar i'm so glad to hear about this new silks line interpretation of dreams mashallah allah grant you all the success malana sir please interpret this dream for me it's happened for the past week it starts off with myself and my wife we giving everyone good news of her being pregnant and expecting a child but then when she comes to the stage of 6 months my sleep just breaks jazakallah assalamu alaikum mashallah mashallah so basically asad bhai um, he has a dream that his spouse his wife she is with ummeed which we say pregnant and every time in the dream when he sees her at the at the time of 6 months then his sleep breaks he does not see the dream further than that so is this any any bad indication what is the actual interpretation of this <clears throat> yes there is no any bad interpretation they should be satisfied and uh, there won't be inshallah any problem but my suggestion my madari mashwara is for him the person who called 
uh, that uh, if in the reality, in fact, uh, his wife is with Omid pregnant, so they should contact to our uh, department, Maktobato Tavizate Attaria. It is also in Durban, in Phoenix, there you will find, inshallah, Rezo Hills, there is our uh, Noshad Bhai, he gives Tavizat and also uh, maybe in overport somewhere or you can contact our Zimadaran there. So there is a special Taviz to protect the pregnancy, to save the pregnancy. <clears throat> so if anyone uh, who watched the dream or not, any Muslim lady, so she should have that Taviz. There is a, a complete way how to use so that department Islamic brother will uh, explain about the tariqah uh, kar, the how to use that taviz. So, inshallah, that would be uh, a safety measure. Mashallah. So, the caller who has just called in, there is no need for him to worry. But uh, we should follow the guidelines which have been given. Mashallah, that you can contact the tavizat department and get those tavizat <coughs> for protection. Mashallah. Please, may I request that you give us another call? Chala de. Play the next call, please. Allah so much for giving us the opportunity to send our dreams to you and for you to interpret it. I had a very scary dream recently that while I was asleep, a jinn was worrying me. It was like a Napa jinn worrying me and then it got inside me. And as much as I wanted to fight that, it does not allow me and make me even pick my hand up. It's been a worry for me since I did not get any answers towards this dream of mine. Please, if you can assist me. Why does or why did this happen? Allah. So this sounds like a very uh, dangerous dream, Asad Bhai, uh, for there are jinns uh, that he feels that are interfering in his dream, in his sleep. So what is the actual interpretation of this, Asad Bhai? A jinn problem is all over. Eh? Here in Pakistan, people, they think uh, maybe this problem is only here. But when we travel Allah. abroad, so we see jinn problem is all over. Not only in Africa. Whenever uh, you go UK Allah, Allah, and Allah. Uh, Europe or wherever you go, uh, because uh, genes are more than human beings. It is fact. Nine times more than the insan, human beings. And also Achha. there are good genes and there are bad genes. And they trouble the people and also good genes help the people as well. They are Muslims, non-Muslims, good Akida, bad Akida. Many things are fine there. So actually, uh, shaitan is also uh, uh, one kind of jinn. So shaitan wants to make Muslim worry. So there are many ways to make Muslim worry. So he makes uh, many things to make a Muslim a mu'min worry. <clears throat> so one of his trick is he interferes our dreams and he makes Muslim uh, parishan. So we should not be worried about such kind of dreams when you wake up. So you should make shukr to Allah wa ta'ala that this was dream. It was not in fact. This was not in the reality. So make shukr to Allah wa ta'ala. Feel easy. Feel free. Do not be worried. And also if you want to make yourself more satisfied, so you should have taweez to uh, protect yourself. Hifazat ka taweez. For the protection, you can uh, contact our this department and have a taviz for you and for your family. But when a person he watches such kind of dream, so uh, sometimes what happens that person continuously uh, thinks about the dream, the same dream while he is working, while he is uh, reading, writing, whatever he is doing. So there is a burden upon his mind. So we should not think too much about such kind of dream. So we should be confident. Make shukur to Allah wa ta'ala and also we should remain park all the time. There should not be any filth apparently or um, hiddenly. And also if a person is in the condition of wuzu maximum time in the whole day. So inshallah such kind of things will not be happen to him. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, Jazakallah Asad Bhai. Uh, sadly to say that every good thing has an end. And uh, this silsila, we have just few minutes remaining. I think we are just going to accommodate this one email that we have, Asad Bhai. It's a very important question from your brother that says that I have been married for the past 10 years. And Alhamdulillah, I have no problem in my relationship. But I do 
see that only in my sleep I am fighting with my spouse, with my partner, meaning with my wife. So why is it only in my dream that I am fighting with her and not in reality? Yes, the interpretation of this dream is in the hand of the person who is watching such kind of dream. You should not fight in the reality. As he mentioned that there is no problem, so inshallah there won't be any problem and he should not be worried about that dream. It may be from shaitan to make you worry and to have some fight uh, in your family with your partner or whatever is there. So we should not be worried about that and we should be firm and confident that when in the real world Actually, I'm not fighting, so there won't be any fight, inshallah. But to have uh, more knowledge, to make more peace in our mind, in our family, in our relations. So I would like to uh, suggest one VCD of Amir Ahle Sunnat, Damad Barakatumul Aliyah, very amazing VCD that is uh, in the shape of question and answer. Ghar Am Ka Gehwara Kaise Bane? It was back uh, eight, nine years back. There was a Madani Muzakara in the beginning of yeah, well, Madani channel or before yeah. Madani channel. So it took place very, very beautiful. Madani Pals, um, Amir al Sunnat uh, talked about to have the peace in your family, in your house, in your uh, surroundings. So normally what are the reasons of fighting and what are their solutions and what are the precautions we should take. So that is very beautiful and um, I'm very confident there must be, inshallah, Zawajal, subtitle for because that is in Urdu. But for the English viewers, uh, inshallah, they will find the subtitle. So we can uh, have the knowledge what Amir al-Sunnat, Damal Barakatuhumul Aliyah is talking about. So, Ghar Am Ka Gehwara Kaise Bane? Whether there is a fight in your family or not, we should have that uh, VCD and also you can... Uh, download because uh, many areas there is no more VCD now people download directly videos from the internet so uh, you can visit dawatislami.net this is our official website of Dawat Islami so there you will go and find video library and there would be a, a complete section of Amir Hale Sunnat and also there is a website with the name of Amir Hale Sunnat Dhamma Barakatumul Aliyah uh, maybe the name is Ilyas Qadri. So you can find there the all Madani Muzakarat and all Bayanat of Amir Ali Sundat. Damad Barakatumul Aliyah. Please visit that website. Have that, that uh, discussion about the peace in our family, in our house. So inshallah we will have more and more Madani Pals. But do not be worried about your dreams Mashallah. what you have Mashallah. mentioned. MashaAllah. Jazakallah, Sid Bhai. We really Amin. appreciate Amin. Uh, you interpret, giving the interpretation of the dreams. I'm sure the brothers are now satisfied. They are happy with the wonderful interpretations you have given. And for those people that are having weird dreams, nightmares, you have even received the Madani pearls. So, as I mentioned that we had last few moments remaining. Uh, for those people that are going to sleep, of course, it's watched worldwide. Many other countries, it may be different times. But for those that are going to go and sleep now, uh, as you have heard the Madani Pearls that you should read your wazifas, your wazaif, make wuzu and subhanallah make intention that I will get up for Fajr Salah. Balki ye dua padte jayen ki mein so jaun ya Mustafa kehte kehte khule aak salli ala kehte kehte. Ameen bijahin nabiyil ameen sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. A true good dream is from Allah A true good dream is from Allah A true good dream is from Allah A bad dream is from Satan A bad dream is from Satan a bad dream is from Satan